Like the man said, we got 20 minutes. The year is 1972, and the Vietnam War is finally coming to an end. Sergeant Barkley and his fellow Marines have a mission. They're sent to pick up all the remaining survivors from a Viet Cong abandoned POW camp. But as soon as they land, the Marines are engulfed in enemy fire, sitting ducks. Only five Marines make it out alive and now have to fight for survival in the jungles of Vietnam. That's the premise behind the new film, The Walking Dead. Comedian turned actor Eddie Griffin stars as Private Hoover Branch. Griffin said this film really woke him up to the horrors of warfare. In order to portray it, you know, in any kind of realistic fashion, you have to go there. You know, mentally you just have to, you know, you got to believe it. But if you don't believe it, then, you know, anybody watching the movie won't believe it. Hoover, man, get out of here. What are you doing? Don't be no hero. Like the film was shot on location in Orlando in the heat of the summer. The swamps in northern Florida sub for the jungles of Vietnam. Griffin said it's a location he doesn't miss. It was hot as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it was 110 in the shade. I wouldn't call them mosquitoes. They were flying syringes. I was getting a blood test every five seconds. And the training sessions weren't so easy either. Under the direction of a real Vietnam veteran captain, the cast was subjected to an intense pseudo boot camp experience, sort of a mock war. You get a keen ear. You know, it's one thing I remember, you're laying there and you hear the sounds of the night, you know, the crickets you know, the frogs and everything, and then you learn to distinguish a foreign sound. It's like, wait a minute, we're we getting ready to get attacked here. Griffith says for his next project, he's looking for a more glamorous role. After I got through with that one, I was like, I don't want to see another script that has a tree in it. Bugs get in your pants, you get up and it's, bugs, bugs, you know, bugs. And I'm just, I'm bugged out.